shouldn't be leading this group. <laughs> that felt good to admit. Hi, uh, I'm Ned, and you're probably wondering what you just watched. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Aberration Survival Stories project, where that's at, and I'm going to talk about normality, what that is, updating you on screenplay progress, how that's kind of going, content development, mapping, all that, and filming. But before I get into that, I want to talk a little bit about my sponsor, G Portal. G Portal is a game server provider that lets you rent servers for games like Ark, for example. And they are honestly really, really great uh, from my experiences with them so far. They have really good performing servers. They have great, very, very fast support. And their general like UI user interface for their server dashboards and all that is really easy and not oversimplified, but also not really hard to really understand what's happening. So. Um, I recommend going with them. They're, they're a really great server provider and you can use my referral code in the description to support me as a creator if you're looking to rent an ARC server today. So in case you don't know, that was a little teaser just earlier in the beginning for Normality, which is a not playable map. It's for the set for the Diana Altaris story, which we're gonna be telling in the survival stories among other characters like Helena, Rockwell, and so on. It's being developed by Golden Drop, and really, you know, we wanted to accurately and sort of fittingly develop a map for the story of Diana Altaris, at least the first half, since that's where it takes place. And we just really wanted to get it right. It's uh, basically aberration before it got destroyed, if that isn't clear enough from the trailer. The map is basically finished, except for some matinee sequences and other stuff that we need to do for the storytelling. Um, but basically, it is uh, it has come a long way. It, it used to look like um, like this, and uh, now it looks like this. So, yeah. I really hope you enjoyed the cinematic that my team and I did uh, with all the dinosaurs and all that. You know, we really just wanted to show off how much work has gone into the the map, but also just the project overall so far. Also, Aether and Chaos did the remix for the trailer. Uh, you may have noticed it's sort of a, a new take on the arc theme, uh, mixing in some aberration stuff, uh, like the surface theme, for example. So check him out. I'll also leave a link to him in the description or on the screen. Um, please do check him out. He's awesome. Now on to other progress in other departments. The screenplays for Helena, Mei Yin, and Diana are finished. Um, Rockwell we're still working on, graduate students, and the dossiers are uh, the three areas that we're still writing the screenplays for. Uh, and in case you don't know, the screenplay is basically the direction for how we actually film it, like what it looks like. It describes the scenes. And uh, this takes a long time to write because we have to read the notes and then interpret them and then write scenes based on the notes. And we're taking it, you know, sort of a lot further with this very thick description. And so that's where we're at right now. We're, we're pretty much halfway done or a little more than halfway done with the screenplay process in general. Now, when it comes to mods, we have a lot involved. Um, there's so much, so much stuff that, that's already been developed for this project, namely the Mei Yin eye scar, you know, head bandage, um, a necklace, just all kinds of tiny little details that probably seem very unnecessary, and, and they are, uh, but we really wanted to tell this story you know, with custom animations, just all kinds of stuff that we really need to sort of step up from uh, what we did with previous survival stories. So that's why we're doing it this way. As far as map related stuff goes, we pretty much have to uh, also, you know, remove the aberration ruins and kind of rebuild them because we're going back in time to tell these stories. And so there's a lot of work there, um, you know, placing new structures around, really large structures, the portal area that they end up building, you know, that's a zone in aberration you can spawn in. Um, that entire area looks completely different in the past. And so we pretty much have to show the portal being built step by step. As for filming, we'll be starting pretty much sooner than ever. Um, we've already got a pretty good chunk of content uh, created and so we can we can do some filming pretty soon here if you want to help out with filming please come join our discord uh, apply to be a body actor and uh, come join in for the fun because it is uh very uh <laughs> there, there's your first meat nugget you 
go give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> so if you'd like to become part of the team, go ahead and pop in the Discord and apply to become a body actor. And you can film with us and, and join in on the process. And uh, we'd love to have you. So with that said, thank you so much for checking out this video and appreciating this project. Uh, I've seen so many just amazingly nice comments uh, left on all the survival stories, videos and updates. And I appreciate those so much. Um, just thank you for waiting and for caring about this project. We have made a lot of progress and you know, this is shaping up to be some of the most high budget and impressive content for the ARC community. So I could not be happier to be a part of it and to be leading it and, um, and stay tuned for more. I will see you in the next video. Weekly videos, streams on Thursdays, Sundays. Uh, yeah, stay tuned. I will talk to you guys very soon. Goodbye.